Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and yes, my hair is a mess. It has been pouring rain. It finally stopped raining, but it's going to start again. My house flooded twice and um, I'm looking at the canal on the corner of my house. Let me show you guys. It's like the calm before the storm. It's up pretty high, but it's finally gone down and... I'm fortunate because my house did not actually flood like flood. The shed flooded, which is actually a miracle because it was right after the holidays and most of the items that I had collected that they weren't in the shed. There was basically nothing in the shed but some empty bins and a few things up high on the shelves. If this had happened in November, I would have been devastated. So... I'm really grateful that it didn't happen in November. And um, I'm kind of coming out from under all of the stress of dealing with the pouring rain and making sure that we had kind of battened down the hatches. And the boys and I were talking about it after like dealing with all this week of pouring rain and craziness. I just decided that, I, I know, I like really look crazy. I feel like I'm wearing a Halloween costume, but I could not, be, this is my Dollar Tree hat. And I knew I would only wear it under like extreme duress because I'm not really a hat person. But sometimes you just don't feel like doing your hair. And this is one of those times. I'm on my way to Aldi's because the boys and I were like, oh, it's just been so miserable and wet and just miserable. So we felt like having stew. So I'm, I mean, we have tons of groceries in the house, but I didn't have the fixings for stew. So I came to Aldi specifically to get things to make stew, but I figured that while I'm in Aldi's, maybe I'll do a shop with me. So let's see what's new at Aldi's. They have like the best fun finds. So let's check them out, shall we? Who knows when I'm leaving here, it could be pouring again. And you have to have your quarter for the cart at Aldi's. Even though I don't need a lot of things, I still need a cart. And my favorite shopping tote for Valentine's season. This can never walk past avocados and not pick some up. They're only 59 cents, but at any price, I always grab a few. I think avocados may be my favorite food. And I've got my extra large 7-Eleven coffee. Well, we're definitely gonna need some potatoes in our stew. 10 pound bag of potatoes for $5. Don't we usually pay $5 for a five pound bag? That's humongous. I absolutely love the Hawaiian style chicken. That's $6.99. I absolutely love it, but my son and my husband hate it. So I'm not gonna get that. I'm trying to see what I could buy them for when I'm at my aunt's. They have the broccoli and artichoke chicken breast that's stuffed. That's like really popular at $6.99 and you get a couple of them. It's not like, it's basically like frozen food. Did you guys ever try those? How do you feel about them? They also have the pulled pork. That's $7.39 on sale. Hmm. They might like the Thai coconut chicken. I don't know, this says pork burnt ends. I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't know, it's $5.79 and it actually says burnt ends. I have a feeling the boys are not gonna like this either. I think they might like this. I've bought it before, the pork carnitas, but it's so easy to make that. I could just make it before I go, but this is so much easier for $5.95. That's the amount that you get. It's like a small pouch. I don't know how I feel about that. I could make it myself, but I think I'm gonna grab it. It's perfect for the two of them for an easy dinner. This is the absolute best place to get broccoli it's a dollar 59 a pound and I mean that is a deal because they're just the crowns when I get it at Aldi's it just makes me throw that's a great great price when I make stew there's definitely gonna be mushrooms in it so I'm gonna get two packs of mushrooms they're only a dollar 49 each and that's like the cheapest price anywhere for mushrooms but I think I might mix do I want to get some baby bellas too or maybe I'll get some baby bellas also. Those are $1.59. Perfect. $1.59 a pack is amazing. Aldi's got smart. Look at that. Martin's potato rolls and bread. 
is on sale, $3.79. It's $4 at Dollar Tree, and it's always gonna be $4 at Dollar Tree. I bet you they always run the sale. When I make stew with brown gravy, I really crave a crusty loaf of bread, butter, and maybe some garlic butter. Ooh, this Italian loaf is three ingredients, flour, water, salt, and non-GMO. Hmm, that is exciting. That is $3.59, and they also have this one. It's tiny, three ingredients, Italian country. I don't know what the difference is, but this one looks really hearty, and this one looks delicious, actually. I think I might get that, turn it into some sort of garlic toast. Usually I like to buy this one, the ciabatta sandwich rolls. When you put these in the oven and just pour a little butter and garlic over them and let them bake for a few minutes, they come out really crispy and they're so good with stew. They are a must buy. My husband and my son literally demand these. They do come in dark chocolate. They absolutely love these. They're $1.99, which I think is really cheap for what they are. You get, they're imported from Germany and they're 4.41 ounce for these cookies. They're so good. They also come in milk chocolate, which are the ones that I like, but I buy them for them. So I get the dark chocolate. Ooh, it's so overpriced, but so tempting for $8.99. They've got mustard and cheese dipping sauces for your pretzel bites. Oh my gosh, my husband will love that. And they also have sweet, which is dolce de leche and cinnamon dipping sauces. Oh my goodness, that sounds really good. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna grab the cheese one because it is, it is a football weekend. My husband will definitely enjoy that. This is more up my alley for $8.99, but I can make it myself. The charcuterie tasting board. Look at how delish that looks. I love it. It's $8.99, but I could just buy the dry salami. I already have tons of things in my fridge. They have spicy dry salami. These are actually good. Have you guys ever tried them? And those are $6.49. They also have the bite-sized ones that I really like to pick up, but I'm not seeing them. They're definitely a cheese and mushroom type of family. I don't think I've ever had this. What is this? Tete de Moine cheese rosettes. Oh my gosh. It says the cheese rosettes. That is so cool. What do you do with that? Tete de Moine. I've never had this cheese. I'm really intrigued. It's $4.99. And then we have this cheese, Appenzeller. Hmm. This sounds really good too. I love trying new cheeses, but I came here for just, just stew products. I think we're gonna have to try these cheeses too. I just love cheese and it lasts. Ooh, but these are on sale. Oh, Manchego, I haven't tried this in a while, or Manchego, I'm not sure how you say it, but I sure know how to eat it. I love this cheese. This is on sale, hmm. Do you guys like cheeses? Oh, I love Gruyere, this is, a go-to for us. They also have cave-aged cheddar. It's so good. Do you guys ever try like exotic or different types of cheeses? I think I'm gonna get the Manchego. It's so good. Hmm. And then, maybe the Appenzeller, because at least it's six ounces. The rose, the one that's just the rosettes, is very little cheese. It must be crazy expensive in the real world. I don't know, because Aldi's is like the Dollar Tree of supermarkets. This is probably so delicious, but I'm gonna put this back. Maybe next week. Ooh, I love Havarti as well. It's only $2.49 for Havarti, but I'm like the only Havarti lover in my house. I think we're definitely gonna try these. During football season and winter, we have more charcuterie boards than ever so I'm gonna grab those. This also is a great place to pick up camembert or brie but today they actually have a sale on it 355 which is really good but I happen to have some right now in my fridge. Borgonzola hmm that is so good camembert I love love that cheese they have a ton of brie and it's 750 which is so much more than it used to be, but still a good price. 
Now look at this, blueberry goat cheese, yum. That looks so delicious. Okay, no more cheeses. I must be hungry because I wanna buy everything. Ooh, flavored goat log assortment. So these, cranberry, cinnamon, blueberry, these are exciting. Cranberry cinnamon, blueberry vanilla, and those are the two flavors. That's so cool. Those are probably amazing for breakfast. To be honest, Aldi's has, in my opinion, the least favorite cold cut section that money can buy. When it comes to these, I do not like them. I usually go to another supermarket to get cold cuts, but I'm determined not to have to go anywhere else today. I wish I knew which ones to try. Oven roasted turkey breast. That doesn't look bad. One pound for $5.49. It's pretty good, actually. I don't know. I've seen people buy these. This isn't bad, but I kind of really wanted turkey or chicken breast. I feel like having it with tomato during the week and whatever is left of this exciting bread. If there's anything left of it, that's gonna be my lunch. Hmm, I think I did see, oh, chicken breast. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. Mesquite, turkey, rotisserie, or chicken. $3.79 for nine ounces. I don't know. I usually, I don't know. It's so hard. I'm very weird about cold cuts. Are you guys like that too? What kind of cold cuts do you enjoy buying? Oh, maple smoked ham and it's organic. I think, hmm, it doesn't look too great to me. Oh, the turkey's all gone. That was organic. I probably would have gone for that. Another empty one. That would have been, oh, sliced honey turkey. I would have loved that. I think I would have bought that. That was only $3.19. That's why that's gone. And it's organic. Wow, that's a steal. Oven roasted turkey breast by Castlewood. I think I'm going to try this because you're getting a pound for $5.50. Why do I feel like that's a great deal? At least here it is. Okay, so now they also have smoked honey turkey breast, a pound of it, or uncured honey ham. So I think I'm going to take the smoked honey turkey breast and the uncured ham. That's definitely good for a week's worth of sandwiches. And it, I, I don't know, but it looks good to me. It looks better than some of the other cold cuts. Ah, uh, how cute, look at that. Ready to bake shaped sugar cookie dough hearts for $3.49. That is adorable. Now here's a little thing that I like to do when I want to make stew. In this store, stew meat is $6.79 a pound. And this package right here is $9.37. But it's $6.79 a pound. And when I make stew, I want leftovers. So I don't know that this is the best deal for me and my family. But if I look down here, I see top round roast, I see chuck roast. Now let's see how much that is a pound. So now that is $5.79 a pound and you're getting way more. Okay, it's $15, but it's an entire dollar less a pound. And I can, I can cut that up myself. So we may get that. The top round is actually a little less fatty, so you wanna cook that in like juices, but that one is $6.29 per pound. So I think I'll definitely get a chuck roast because it'll make a nice gravy. As a matter of fact, I've changed my mind again, you guys. The bottom round roast is $4.99 a pound, so you're getting a humongous roast that you can cube up and probably even get a second meal out of that for a different stew or maybe, maybe like a beef stroganoff. So I'm gonna get the bottom round because that is definitely going to make a lot, a lot of stew meat. Ooh, like a real Greek girl, I get really excited when I see all kinds of lamb options. Look at this, at $3.29 a pound, the split lamb breast plate would be so good cooked in the oven. I'm gonna grab that. Those are delicious. Basically, lamb ribs 
kind of like lamb chops, but a lot cheaper. Wanted to pick up some of their organic chicken thighs because they're actually a really good deal at Aldi's, but they don't really have anything left. It's a little later in the day, and the great deals at Aldi's happen early in the morning. The chicken breast is $5.79 a pound. That's cheaper than it usually is. Maybe I'll get regular chicken breast. It's so, so cheap here. This huge family pack is only $2.29 a pound. I probably will pick this up today. It's $13.44. That is a lot of chicken breast. I think the moral to the story is never come to the supermarket hungry <laughs> because I have a shopping cart full of things and I came here just to make stew, but we haven't hit the fun find section yet. Who knows what else is going in this cart? Oh, I know, I need um, coffee creamer from Aldi's. It's my favorite place to get. Yes, guys, these coffee creamers are my absolute favorite. And today, I don't know why, the 32 ounce ones are $2.35. So I'm grabbing three. I'm gonna bring one with me to Connecticut. So when I stay at my aunt's house, I have one. And I'm gonna buy a backup for my house because that's really cheap. This is great. It's a great buy. At $5.98, you're getting the Welch's 26 signable pouches, which you can give the kids for their Valentine's. Or I'm probably gonna come back in a couple days and get some of those for the kids' goodie bags that I make at the shelter. 26 for $5.98, not bad, but those might go down. But I love Welch's. Then look at this for five bucks. My son would love this. The heart box of Sour Patch Kids. That is a cute Valentine's gift. They've got the Dove Valentine dark chocolate hearts. So cute for $4.72. Look at all of these goodies. What? These are only $2.99. What? That's pretty cool. What? This is a heavy box of chocolate, you guys. <gasps> This is only three bucks. What a great buy. Okay, we're gonna get some of these. Look at what you get in here for $3. I might get this for my husband. Oh yeah, this is gonna be John's Valentine's gift for $2.99. And it comes in two different patterns. I kind of like that one more, but that one's more for a man. I mean, he's gonna eat that tonight. Who am I kidding? Then they have peanut butter hearts for $3.49. He would probably, look at how cool that is. That's really nice. And then these little Valentine's Day gift boxes are also really, really cute for $1.79. But I have a feeling this is much better chocolate than what we're getting at the Dollar Tree for a buck and a quarter because Aldi's chocolate is delicious. Then look at these for $4.99. Oh my gosh, I love Aldi's chocolate. They have such pretty exciting chocolates. This is, it says, you're my sweetie pie premium Belgian chocolate, pie-shaped chocolates. That's awesome. Or for $4.99, you can choose I'm Donuts About You. And inside you get donut-shaped chocolates with naturally flavored cream centers. Oh my goodness. Hmm, it's really hard to pick. I really wanna be a nice wife. I know that my husband would really like this, but I hate this and I'm not gonna wanna share that with him. And if I buy him chocolate, I wanna taste one, but I want it to be like exciting, something that I like too. So I'm not picking that. Now this is $5, wait a minute, this is only $5? But look at how gorgeous this is. Happy Valentine's Day. The one that the Dollar Tree is offering, honestly, the $2.99 box of chocolate is way better deal. Do you guys see that? This is crazy. Just because it's not heart-shaped, I think. The huge Russell Stover one is $9.98 and it's heart shaped and it has the red cellophane and you get you get 11 chocolate in it and it's nice it's definitely a good size but in this one you only get 8 chocolate for 4.99 but in the box that is not heart shaped you get 12 you get 12 for 2.99 John does not need a heart-shaped box. That's what he's getting. Oh, you guys know that I really love Valentine's gnomes, but I'm definitely not paying nine bucks. These are amazing though. They're like cotton, perfect. Everything at Aldi's is amazing. These are really nice. This one says kiss me and the hat says love. Each one is different. Aren't those beautiful? This guy is so cute and his hat is like soft velour. They are so, 
so nice quality. I mean, they could always use a little primping. He's got a rose. Look at how, that's nice. These are really, really, really good gnomes. $7.99, they have these enormous signs that are just completely done. This one says, be mine with the gnome holding a sweater heart. Really, really cute. It does have the hook to hang it off of. Those are really nice and they say XOXO at the top. They're so, so nice. Then they've got this one. It says, hello, Valentine. They're not double-sided. Sometimes they are. This one has the wood beads. Look how beautiful that one is. That's so gorgeous for $7.99 as well. Look at the ribbon on this one. I love it. And the greenery. And it says, love is in the air with a cute little porcupine. There's his face blowing heart bubbles. So cute. There's a fourth one that must have been beyond gorgeous because that one sold out. Oh yeah, because it's a big round and it has the beads. It's gone. So nice. These are gorgeous. Look at these. These are by Stork and they're $5.98. Again, it's a good deal. It says the finest selection of chocolates, hazelnut almond, coffee and cream. Wow, those are cool. Oh, marzipan. Hmm, my son would love that one. Then we have these hot cocoa bombs. You get three huge ones in various type of chocolates. That looks delicious. Those are six bucks. But this, chocolate macarons. Okay, this, this is probably what I'm gonna get, Chris. That is his favorite. He loves macarons. Even though it's very girly, he's not gonna care. He loves macarons. Chocolate covered macarons, he'll love even more. It says assorted Belgian chocolate macarons with toppings, but it doesn't say what flavors the macarons are. Hmm. Strange, right? That it doesn't tell you their flavors. Wow, I can't believe how much Ferrero Rocher has become. So now this box is $5.28. I'm probably gonna have to buy this for my husband too. That's his actual favorite chocolate. You get 12 of the Ferrero Rocher for $5.28. That's a really good price. Trust me, my husband is buying these secretly for himself all the time, so that's a good deal. Okay, now these are Marina's favorite. Orange and chocolate together, it was just made to be. Sponge cookies with orange fruit filling. These are my favorites, they're $2.99. I'm taking those home, of course. They also have strawberry. You know what, my husband also loves those. They're in the like Passover section. I think, or Hanukkah section, the jelly rings, the Jovas. I was hoping I could find jelly rings here, but I don't see them anywhere. But he may like these. Look at these. Almond spritz shortbread cookies, vanilla spritz and coconut spritz shortbread cookies, $2.99. Mm, those look delicious. I must admit, I love a shortbread cookie, but I'm gonna get these for John, and I'm gonna get the orange ones for myself because I did buy Valentine tear tray and I'm gonna fill it up with delicious sweets for Valentine's Day. Ooh, I don't think they always have these because I was here a few weeks ago and I was looking for the mushroom ravioli and I couldn't find them. I love these mushroom ravioli. At $1.99, they're such a good deal. They also have cheese and they also carry them in sun-dried tomato and garlic. These ravioli, their 8.8 .8 ounce, are so delicious. I'm gonna grab two of each flavor. They're my favorite, favorite raviolis possibly in the world. They're so good. You guys know, this is one of those things that I'm always picking up at the Dollar Tree, the Stroop Waffles by the actual brand. But Aldi's carries them during the holidays and they're now 261. So I'm definitely gonna grab that. I think there's eight or nine in here. I've bought them before at the 350 and it's still a good deal at 350. Oh wow, look at this. Their organic seasonings are $1.99. They've got chili powder, cinnamon, cumin, oregano. Okay, we're stocking up because that is fabulous. Ground cinnamon for only $1.99. That's amazing. They've got cumin, oregano, cinnamon, and chili powder. Cumin, oregano, cinnamon, and chili powder all for $1.99 is a really great deal. We're definitely gonna stock up on our cinnamon because you can't get organic cinnamon for a buck 99 anywhere. These are really nice actually. I don't know if your Aldi's has them, but I just looked at the one that was open. These plush lounge sets for 
they are so nice quality the shirt is beautiful well this is the one that i was just feeling they've only got it in a size medium but it's really nice look at it's like it actually is a real wrap shirt which is impressive it's not like faux for $14.99 i really like that if they had my size i would get it they've got bathroom accessories for $9.99 they have this very modern sleek looking waist bin they've also got the toilet brush also very modern small and sleek looking for ten dollars look at this cool bamboo stool $16.99 I always love the stuff in Aldi's I really want to find the makeup that Aldi's has been putting out but my stores don't have it I wonder what states are carrying it because I watched Vivian tries that was another reason why I came to Aldi's I kind of wanted to find that these are also cool bathroom accessories and they're $9.99 a bathroom sink set you get the pump the soap dish and the toothbrush holder for 10 bucks it's really like sleek and modern really nice actually if that's your thing it is really nice if that's your thing now what is this warming pottery mug what's this hole for wow it's cool I don't get it though warming pottery mug Okay, designed to warm your hands when filled with hot foods or drinks. Huh? Is that what that's for? It's so, oh. Oh, I guess. Oh my gosh. This is very comforting. It feels so good in my hands, but I don't know. That's $10 is a lot for a mug, but it's really cool looking. Honestly, the pink one is like a perfect Valentine's gift. Isn't that nice? It's almost like a half a heart. It comes in this green, this really pretty pink, very 80s, and the gray. So there's three colors in all. Warming pottery mug. Oh no, I'm crazy. It's not Wait a minute, it's $5. Now that I know it's $5, I almost bought one. I don't know what made me think it was $10. It's so nice in your hands. That is really comforting. For someone who drinks like chamomile tea at night, that is a nice gift. These are $9.99, angled organizer. But look at that, that's kind of genius. So that each thing can fit in its Wow, I've never seen it quite configured like that. I love that. It's bamboo. Then they have this. It's an in-drawer spice rack, which is also genius if you have drawers in your kitchen that would fit this. And then this one is a two-tier flatware organizer that, you know, it slides back and forth. I really was hoping to find the aluminum foil wax paper and ziploc bag organizer but i'm going to keep looking for that. this you guys this is from christmas time and it's still 12.99 in my aldi's that's what drives me crazy this is not on clearance still 12.99 i think it was i think it's been that price the whole time but they did not mark it down things just get sold in my aldi's i don't have great clearance like other states do in their states this is cool, it's a recipe stand. Isn't that nice? I love, I love the type of wood it is. The acacia wood is so beautiful. I wonder how much that is. Well, I can't find the Aldi's makeup, but I can find the adorable earrings. Oh my goodness. Yes, I will buy that in a heartbeat. They are $4.99. I love when they bring in earrings. Those are my absolute favorites then i mean these are really boho they don't even even seem like hearts i feel like i could wear those even in the summer i absolutely need those in my life but then look at these they're gorgeous aren't those gorgeous i feel like i need them both in my life they're both really really nice all three of them i can't do all three. Oh, decisions decisions 
Oh my gosh, it's so hard to pick. These are so pretty too. I'm just gonna get these because they're super traditional Valentines and they're huge and I just love them. Look at this, they have these for our pets. Oh my gosh, for $3.99, they're for $3.99, their kitchen linens are beautiful. Look at this. Look, they're pot mitt. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is so cute. And then we have the cherry one and this one. How adorable. Those are not even screaming Valentine to me. These are screaming, yes, get up and make yourself a delightful cup of coffee every day oh look how cute that is i love it i wish the plus section had strawberry valentine garland at the dollar tree i would pay three bucks for that but it's five dollars and i'm cheap i don't think i'm gonna splurge at five bucks but i love it i have to admit i do love it and ooh, they've got this kind this is cute we can make this ourselves for five bucks hmm how adorable is that we can so make that for less. We can make a million of these for less than $5. We can't make this for $5. It's almost worth the five bucks because look at how adorable the strawberries are. But I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass. I've bought way too much Valentine's decor already. Their plush Valentine throws are $7.99. They are really, really, really nice quality. 50 by 70 inches, but they are way better quality than the Dollar Tree's. Dollar Tree's plush section is gonna have to step up its game, but they are $8 as opposed to five. I don't know. I know there are more styles because I've seen them, but I don't see them here. I don't know what this is. It says Holiday Wasail spiced flavored juiced it says that it's a spice flavored juice beverage blend holiday wasail i've never heard of this but it makes me want to drink it because it's got apples and oranges and cinnamon i don't know this is coming to the cart with me it doesn't even look like it's just fruit i wonder if it's got a ton of sugar in it Yeah, it's basically mostly sugar. It's like drinking a soda, but still, ooh, black currant juice, cinnamon extract, nutmeg. My gosh, this sounds really good. I kind of want to try it anyway. I'm going to buy one. Okay, guys, $129 later. I bought everything I said I was getting, but this is the only thing I didn't show you guys because I wasn't sure if it was going to come out on sale. I love these gingerbread iced and chocolate covered cookies. They're like wafers and they were only 29 cents. This is the only Christmas clearance item that I found, but I snatched it up because I bought these during the holiday season and they're delish, but I'm gonna put them in my Valentine sweet treats tear truck. Definitely gonna let you guys know what that tastes like. It was $2.99 and, and my favorite item of the day is my new pair of earrings. And I know that my husband is gonna dig into this as soon as I get home. This is gonna make him smile. I'm actually realizing that their lamb is pasture fed and pasture raised without antibiotics, without hormones. That is so good. That is really, this is why I love lamb. It's affordable and it is non-genetically modified feed. So it's way cleaner of a meat. I'm really psyched that I bought those. Those are a great buy. How delusional was I that I was gonna be able to fit all of my shopping in this bag though? Seriously, I always forget who I am. I really, I really do. I forget that when I go to the store, a little bag just is not gonna cut it. Oh my gosh, you guys. How long do you take to go grocery shopping when you go to the supermarket? Because I didn't even realize the boys have been calling me off the hook. I was in there for three hours. What is wrong with me? It's nighttime. <gasps> I don't even think we're making stew tonight. We're having soup. Thank goodness I made a big pot of avgo lemono last night. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what avgo lemono is. It's like Greek chicken soup made with orzo and it's got egg and lemon. It's so good. And my throat has been starting to hurt me and I swear that it has magical healing powers. So we're gonna have some leftover avolemono with some of that delicious bread I picked up 
and tomorrow is another day. I'll be making stew tomorrow because the day got away from me. Does that ever happen to you guys where you just kind of like, I just spent the day with you guys. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I do these crazy things, but the boys have been calling me off the hook and I wasn't getting the calls and I just kind of zoned out at Aldi's. But I did do a bunch of grocery shopping. It was like $130. I feel like it was a really good deal for everything that I picked up. And my Aldi's does not have the makeup. Let me know in the comments down below what state you're in and if your Aldi's stores have gotten in all of those awesome makeup dupes because I'm so curious to try them out. You guys know I can't help myself. I love stuff like that. Um, so thank you guys for going to Aldi's. I feel like I went shopping with my best friend and we went to Aldi's and did our grocery shopping because it's been hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this Aldi shop with me for the entire day. And if you did, please leave a comment down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. I don't always do Aldi's hauls, but when I do, I do them always. <laughs> so I can't believe that I just spent all that time in the supermarket. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye. Oh, and let me not forget, I'll let you guys know all about that wasai thing because I'm going to try it hot. I feel like I would like it better if I put it in the microwave and drank it hot because it has like cinnamon. I almost wish I had bought that warming mug because I'm freezing and then I could have heated that up and put a cinnamon stick in it and it could have comforted me. And For $4.99, I should have bought it, right? You can't buy everything, right guys? All right, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye, guys. There is the soup and toast. I am done for the day, but... This drink is so interesting. It's spicy. It's really delicious. It reminds me of compote. If you guys know what that is, comment down below. With like cinnamon and spice in it, like ginger. It's so yummy. I love it. I love a hot drink at night.